Welcome back to Super Duperville, episode four. I'm calling a mulligan. That's right, people. I messed up in the last episode. All right, so for this episode, we got three goals once again. Number one, we need to destroy Stutopia. Number two, we need to do some landscaping, terraforming. And number three, we need to rebuild Stutopia. Am I cut out for the opera? Anyway, let's get into it. It's a sad thing. We got to see it go. I don't want to see it go. But anyway, I'm over it. Um, the reason that we need to demo this, and I'll show you here by using the zoning tool, which is, uh, I have it number two on my area, but the zoning tool. If I zoom in here on each ring, you can see that one side has four units that can go deep. But the other side, for the most part, has an occasional one that has four deep, but most of them are only three deep on the other side. Plus, they're smashing into each other. Do you want to back up to your neighbor's back window? No. You want a little bit of a gap between you, a little bit of space. Now, I'm just thinking residential, but I mean, commercials doesn't want that. Uh, industry wouldn't want that. So what we have to do is we have to revamp and re redo this entire thing. Real quick, I just wanted to double check. I believe that it was 170. Yes, it's 170 radius, 340 diameter. Our new city is going to be 350. So because of that, we're going to actually move it away from the highway a little bit more. But first things first, let's get into the Move It mod. We're going to do our marquee selection. And we're going to double click on nodes. And what that does is it only selects roads, uh, nodes like roads. <laughs> a little rhyme there. So if you can see here, I'll zoom in a little bit closer. All these nodes have now turned green. And when we hit the bulldoze, they all disappear. Real quick, I'm going to back off the railroads right to the edge. Just get rid of them for now. We, they're, they're serving no purpose for our city at the moment. And we'll come down here and snag some more of these. Got to be careful not to overlap onto the highway. Get one more down here, and we have a couple little cleanup spots. And we're done. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all these trees. Yes, I like trees. I'm not, I don't have anything against the trees, but we're going to double click trees. We're going to go in here and just snag all these trees that are in this area just to, just to be rid of them for now. That gives us a nice clean surface to work on. Speaking of surface, let's go into our landscaping tools, pick our level terrain. We're going to right click and select the height that we want. All this is 126.5 or 126.3, 126.25. There we go. Drop our brush strength, up our brush size, pick a nice heavy circle here. And we're just going to take it out. We don't need to go a lot out on the sides. Sides. It's really the top here. We need to extend out across here. So we're going to do that. Just to make sure that we have a nice big area to build in, that it's not obstructed. I'm going to go out again. That should do. I know it doesn't look pretty, but uh, once we get this in place, I'll go back and I'll fix the shoreline to make sure it doesn't look so man-made. And with that, we are good to go. So I'm going to unpause the game because... We only hit, we hit, we're starting with $102,000, but we're going to burn through that really quickly. Uh, the other thing I did, if I look in options here and go to roundabout builder, I've turned off the required money option. We've already spent a million dollars on building Stutopia in the first place. And since we have to redo building all the rings, I felt it just fair in this case to do it for free. So what I'm going to do from this point forward is I'm going to speed up the video to three times speed. Uh, because this is going to take me about an hour and 40 minutes to build in normal speed and obviously you don't want an hour and 40 minute video so here we're going to kick it up a notch so we're going to start out uh, by just putting in a starting corner 
to establish where we want to put the roads. Then we're going to use our four lane one way road and we're going to go up uh, 350 units, which is the full length of our city, and drop that in place, come back to 175 units, which is our center point, and establish the right and left legs. From this point we need to put in some bracer roads along the exterior so that we can get the diagonals correctly, correct in their length. And it's hard to just put them in place. You see the water coming in there from where I did the landscaping. So basically this brace that goes in place, it just gives us two flat roads to build a 90 degree angle on for the diagonal roads. So we go back to our four way, four lane one way road. I have trouble saying that for some reason. And I just go out and I find, okay, where's the center point that I wanna to go to and I reach all the way across. I have anarchy on, by the way, in this case, so that I can go right across the center and I don't have to stop there. Now we have our center point, we can get rid of the bracer roads. And this is all costing us money to put these in place. That's why we needed to have the city running so that we can make money while we spend money. The only thing that's not gonna cost us money is the roundabouts. From here, we go back to our four lane one way roads. And it was 124 units. Is that right? Yeah, so I had to go out 51 units extra on each of these legs and there you go now we have our four lane one way roads and our main roads in place in the star pattern if you will so then we're going to switch to our roundabout builder and this is one way that you can select the roads is going into the actual roads themselves and click on the road and you'll see it change to a four lane national highway now national highway why are we putting a highway in here well we don't want to be able to build on the main rings so normally when you lay a road down you can build on either side of it however on highways you cannot build on either side of it so we're going to start a little bit smaller than what we intend to do on each ring each ring is going to be 200 out so this next ring you're going to see at 400 600 800 1000 1200 and finally 1400 units that innermost ring we made a little bit smaller than 200 units because this is a four lane road and we're eventually going to put in a six lane one way road in the middle. So there you see an example of being able to build along the main roads but not around the rings. The next step is to go in and I have to actually physically delete each intersection, the, the nodes on each side of the intersection and then rebuild the road snapping it into that intersection and you'll notice as we go across here as I'm bringing the road to the circles a lot of times it doesn't go straight on it's not a 90 degree edge that the road is just gonna snap too easily this is a problem and you'll see it more so later when we get into the smaller roads because you're snapping to the edge of a circle, there's these nodes on the circles. And I even turn off snapping at one point. It doesn't help. The little blue circles you see there that appear on each ring, regardless of snapping is on or off, it still tries to hone to those locations. Most of this is repetitive. Hence why I wanted to do the speed build. And this is the other problem that I ran into with the old city is that when those rings were 10 units apart and I was trying to make these roads, I couldn't make them straight. They kept snapping to the side just like that one did because of the rings that are in place because of those little hidden nodes there that are, are i don't know how often they they appear around the ring but there are a lot of them there are a ton so there we go we got all those in place we're gonna go down and just throw in some residential and commercial and industrial down here just to keep this place building we will hit big city in this episode 
That's not the goal at all, but... So next up, we're going to switch to the National Road. Yes, this is another road that you cannot build on. These are going to be the other eight legs that go between. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn off some snapping here and we're going to build little bracer roads between these two no node points. And the, the, pro the reason why we're going to do this is it's hard to establish a middle point between these two main legs because it's it's one unit off it's an odd number of units but if you go straight across it is an even amount it's 134 I believe yes so halfway in between is going to be 67 and if we put these bracer roads in place see how it's moving back and forth there I think I messed up on the first time doing this yep yeah. so I hit the undo mod Love that mod, I'll tell you what, that has saved me a lot of headaches, being able to undo the actions that I that I make. So we gotta find, there we go, we gotta even that time. So now it's just a matter of going to the center, going 90 degrees off that side, hopefully finding the edge accurately. That actually did not work out. So we can get rid of the bracer legs on these sides. So it was very even on the east-west road east-west as we're as we're seeing it on the screen so I had to go back and delete this entire thing go back to the original plan put in the bracer road we're trying to use the cheapest road possible because this is all costing us money right so we go around the entire circle put in the rest of our bracer roads so that we don't make that mistake again and now we can find our center point at 67 Bring it across properly. And anarchy it in all the way across instead of just going to the center. And now it's even. Alright, so we can get rid of the bracer roads and put the rest of these little legs to the outer edge in place. That one gave me a little bit of trouble trying to connect it in. Those darn nodes on the circle. Some of them are perfectly in place, other ones no. So there we go. So we have all 16 of our little rows that we're going to be dealing with around the entire city. And I'm demonstrating there how you can only see that you can build on the main legs right now. You can't build anywhere else in the city. It's kind of crazy. But this will become apparent what we're going to do here in a minute. So now we want to put in our roundabouts for the intersections, the interior sections, if you will, between these main legs. So using the two lane road, which we will be able to build upon, we're actually going to move out 54 units. I'm sorry, it goes out 56 units and then another 88 units and what you're able to do here then is see how you have a full 
four unit deep build area between the edge of the ring and the main rings. And when I say 56 units and 88 units, what that does is it, is it puts it that proper distance with giving a little bit of a gap between the inside of the main ring and the outside of the main ring in each group. I know it's hard to explain this verbally. And in fact, I could have made that inner circle one unit wider, and I may go back and fix that. And I made a mistake here. I put in a normal six-lane uh, road, six-lane one-way road, and then I went back and switched it to a six-lane highway. Because again, we don't need to build on the inside of it, and it'll protect how the interior appears a little bit later on. It'll get cleaned up. It looks really messy and very out of place right now. But So now we're going to go in and we're going to fix all of our one-way highways here coming in and out of the city. One-way roads, I'm sorry. I want to make sure I use the right terms. And the way these are getting set up is obviously it goes one way, then the next leg goes the other way. So the north, south, east, west routes will all be going out of the city and the diagonal routes will be bringing traffic into the city. Thinking at one point here I got confused as to which way I was going with these and I had to go back and switch it back around. So there we go. So now we got them all set. Like I said, we will hit Big City. So now we're going to connect up the national highway roads that we have in place. Again, this is a lot of deleting and relaying down the roads to get it between the nodes right. And normally you wanna be able to reach that little two unit section there that I start off with in a lot of these if you didn't have the Anarchy mod or if you didn't have fine roads tools, I believe, and have Anarchy turned on. Yeah, that one ended up being crooked, so I had to figure out, it's that darn node again, those darn nodes. So I was like, well, do I want to freeform it? No, I should be able to put it in place. Let me see if I can find the snap point. So I have to go way past the road here to get it to snip over just a little bit. how far over I had to go with my cursor there. I was like way over to the side just to move it over. And if you notice here, it creates an extra little node there. So I have to go in and delete this and re-extend the road over if I can get the proper road. And now it's straight. I run into that more than once. So you noticed I skipped the main one-way roads. And that's because those are going to be solved here after we get all these legs in place. I, I'm trying not to be cryptic, but if I talk too far ahead, it, it will just confuse you. That makes sense. There we go. We hit Big City.
See, some of these legs I struggle with a lot more than other ones. Some of them just drop straight in. Other ones, you got to finagle them a little bit. Encourage them. Coax them. Wrestle them to the ground and beat them to a pulp. Whatever it takes. But with patience and perseverance, we will succeed. And there we go, we got all eight of the smaller roads in place. Now, we're gonna go back to our, just our dirt road, and what we're gonna do here is line up the edge of our little circles. As we start off there, you see the edge of the blue line, blue box area in this case, with the edge of the, the one-way road. Now the problem with these are, again, with these darn nodes on the circles. I have snapping turned off. The goal is to make sure that the alongside of the highways, the one-way roads, still have four units available. And see how nice and clean it is on the inside of that area now. You can have somebody go up in there and build four units deep. And you still have four units right along the one-way road. That's what we're doing here. So it changes all that chaos that's in there right now. And I know these roads look real wonky. But once you release the circles from everything, everything looks a lot better. And there you go. That's how it's going to look. Now we're going to go out and we're going to shoot down the legs of each one of these and do the entire length of it. I get a little bit smarter instead of just going down one side. I go down both sides here. Yeah, here we go. And the reason I wanted to make sure that I had four units deep along the edge of the one-way roads coming in and out of the city is so that alongside of those roads I can put in things like parking areas, uh, subway entrances, monorail system, pedestrian walkways. And if you build your residential or commercial, whatever you're building in that area right up to the edge, obviously you can't do that or else I'll have to destroy buildings, it'll look weird. This just gives it a little bit more of a uniform look. Let's 
So you can see we're up over a million dollars again. And we'll need it because we've got a lot more to build. Now we're going to take out all the roads on the interior and we will get the final product. And here you are, ladies and gentlemen, Stutopia 2.0. We're going to come back a little bit later and we'll put in the intersections. There I turn on the highlighted one-way roads so you can see them a little bit easier. And I'm zipping around talking about uh, how everything's laid out and how nice and even it is. I may come back and put in uh, additional little legs on probably the first three main rings of these side roads. I connect it up here, connect up this side road here just to show you how it will mess up if we put that in place. See how it messes up the, the build area there. So that's not a good way to turn it around, but we may we want to leave it open. But we may come back and put one on the interior further, either there or probably centered. So it just follows the pattern more evenly. And I'll probably do it for the first three rings on the bottom. But I'm going to save it real quick because it crashed on me the first time I did this. And all I had was my autosave, and it was a real nightmare. Now we're gonna go back, we're gonna use the soften tool. And all that does is just smooths out rough transitions like we have here. And it just takes both sides of the elevation of the land, just smooths them out a little bit. So there, looks a lot better. And then I go back along the front here and I just clean this up. I make it look a little bit more rocky using the level terrain. I, I just drop some patterns in place here just to make it look more rough, a little more worn. And then I come back with the soften tool again and just ease it out. I think I turned down the sensitivity on it there so it looks a little bit better. And the water level will come back rise back up but there you have it I think I check on traffic here traffic is still operating at 85 86 percent it's amazing that it's holding this level I was really really happy with that So that's it for this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. We're going to take a little tour around the new and old Stutopia here and show you the differences. I really like the layout of this. I really like the way it looks. I like the way it's, it's designed and laid out. I am going to go back and replace that innermost roundabout, the six lane roundabout. I'm going to move it out one unit just to even it up so it, it stays in the same kind of pattern. But anyway, thank you very much. Please like, please subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you can get updated on my next video. 
And until next time, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. I truly appreciate you guys coming and spending a little time with me. Until next time, this is Mike of Dragon Rider Gaming. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.